They give you all your leads, you go out and sell them, and then they give you more. If you've ever been in sales, that's like heaven, right? Because cold calling means you're going out knocking on doors trying to make your own leads. They just hand you your leads, and you go out and sell them, and then they give you more. I was like, I've been banging my head against empty, you know, locked doors for four years. This sounds great. Called the lady up. I said, hi. I was told I'm supposed to call up and take the test. She goes, we don't hire from the outside. I, I told her I was, I was supposed to call and take the test. We don't hire from the outside. I was told to call and take the test. We don't hire from the outside. Will you let me take the test? Sure. Okay. When? So I went and took the test. I called her up and I said, how'd I do? We don't hire from the outside. How'd I do? We don't hire from the outside. How'd I do? We don't hire from the outside. I only wanted one job. I didn't know any other jobs where they gave you all your leads and then they sold everything you want and you came back and they gave you more. There was nobody else saying that was what they did, so I wanted that job. I took purpose. I took, I made a decision. I wanted that job. Still had another job. I was still working, but I wanted that job. Now, back then, we didn't have color printers, right? If you had a printer in your house, it was called a dot matrix printer. Hmm. And it came out and looked kind of like your computer screen, but your computer screen is pretty much dot matrix also, right? And so, but I said, you know what? I'm going to make a yellow page ad page for Mike Denker. So I had a heading called Sales Stud, Mike Denker. I said, Integrity, Mike Denker. I said, The only guy you need to hire, Mike Denker. And then, I just kept thinking about this job. I was focused on this job. My attitude was I was going to get this job. My discipline was I wasn't looking anywhere else. My sacrifice was I'm going to do whatever it takes to get this job. So then as I'm thinking that way, I'm thinking that way, I'm thinking that way, all of a sudden it came to me. I don't know where it came from, but I got this image. I drew a picture of a turkey, of a chicken, of a cow, and the best idea I could have drawn what my face looks like, right? And I wrote down, I said, what do you see? Most people see a cow, a chicken, and a young man. Ray Kroc saw an opportunity in that cow. And 47 billion people eat his hamburgers every day. Colonel Sanders saw an opportunity in that chicken. Finger looking good is known in Russia. Do you see an opportunity in that young man? Do you have the vision of a croc or a Sanders? So I went and I stood in the parking lot of the Bell South building. And I had them get down on the ground and take a picture of me so that my head was right next to the words on the beautiful mirror building, Bell South. And they took that picture. So now I've got my yellow page, funky page, the tip took a lot of guts to make that page, right? I'm not telling you it was pride. It was scary, but I said, I need this job. I put together that thing with the pictures and put it on nice brown paper, and then I took that picture and I put it in the back, and I went to the place and I said, who runs this place? They said, we don't hire from the outside. I said, I understand that. You're not the first person to tell me that. Who's the boss? I don't know who's the boss. You mean the boss of the place? I said, no, who's the boss? Well, Don Perazzi is our CEO. Great, I need his address. His address. I said, who's the next boss? She goes, well, we have two regional vice presidents, one named Patty and one named Ben. I said, great, give me their name and address. And I sent those things out. And I thought, somebody is going to call me. I sent it certified mail. I knew they'd have it in the next three or four days. We didn't have FedEx yet. And so I knew they'd have it in the next three or four days. And you know what? Nobody called me. So finally, I called that lady up and I said, I need this job. It was the first time I ever called her with a need. I was very confident all the way up there. Now I need this job. She goes, hang up the phone and call me back tomorrow. Hi, it's tomorrow. Come on in. We're going to hire you. So I go and I get and I start doing really well and I hate the people and everything else. And finally one day this, the regional vice president, Patty, comes around and she goes, we want to take your picture because I like to see pictures of everybody so that I can remember the names and get to know everybody. I said, you don't need my picture. You already have it. She goes, what do you mean? I said, I sent you a package, certified mail, nine months ago. 
had my had a picture of a cow, a chicken, a young guy, a picture of me in front of the building. She goes, that was you. She goes, I, I forgot all about that. She goes, but that very day, I sent that package down with my secretary to Human Resource, and I said, you hire that guy. If he can sell himself like that, he can sell yellow pages. <laughs> Nine months later, you just never know. But you got to do the work. You do the work well, you will stand before.